My name's Diane Douglas. Oh, my name's Tim Berry. I'm Leanne Ottinger. Sonia Erickson. So I'm Jim McGinley. My relationship to Ashoka makes a great deal of sense in terms of City Club's mission of convening and collaborating with partner organizations. And it also makes a lot of sense in terms of Ashoka starting up in Seattle and my experience as a nonprofit leader and executive director in the community. In general, when you look at the organization, in principle, you're like, well, that makes perfect sense, you know, helping entrepreneurs. But the thing that, that really gets me is if you get to go to one of the youth ventures and watch those presentations, and as soon as you watch somebody in high school talking about how they're going to help some, their community and how they're empowered themselves to go solve a problem that's affecting them, uh, then I'm t I was totally sold. It is this added piece which is about um, sustainability and it really goes back to my early days with the body shop and Anita Roddick. It's that, you know, if you give a man a fish, you feed him for a day. If you teach a man to fish, you feed him for life. That piece has captivated me for decades now and I think it is a cornerstone of Ashoka who then takes it one step further which says and if you revolutionize the fishing industry you feed the world. Historically if we've lived in a, a world that's sort of siloed there's people that get up every day and try to solve business problems and then and then there's other people that wake up every day and try to solve social problems and their idea of tapping into that and merging those talents and merging those principles and bringing some business-minded experience and people and talent to the table of solving the social problems in the world makes me believe that we can tackle some of these really far-ranging, far-reaching problems. Our board members do bring a passion for what we do. They're excited uh, about the vision of everyone at Changemaker and they're excited about helping to make that a reality. 